So I'm just trying to, to weasel along in this flat kind of bedding plane. You gotta get your head in this groove here. And keep wiggling, but I'm suspecting it's a little tight. That's inside the, uh, the top of this little pool. You know, having calcium calcite solidifying along its edges and it grows higher and higher like a little anthill with a depression in the middle, not that little. It's inside there that you'll see cave pearls. I can't personally see over there, can't get my head there, but I'm using the, the video camera. I don't know what you can see, or I'll see it myself when I get home. Not sure to what extent you can see me, but I'm kind of reaching a point of <laughs> difficulty going on much further. So here I am. Um, using my time as best I can. Branko and uh, Ricky have made it through to a, a different location. Uh, I need to lose some weight in order to fit through that cavity. So I'm just looking off in side passages and so on and uh, hoping to make a connection uh, in a passage that is not richly decorated because I mean one of the first points of the caving is not to damage the formations. They need to remain as is. So let's have a look down this passage. So I'm just Basically sitting here, waiting for Branko and Ricky to come back. Um, they're coming back through the squeeze shortly. I can just hear them off in the distance. Um, I'm eager to hear what they uh, what they found. Um, I know Branko's been here many a time, so uh, look forward to the story. Watching us, is it live? <laughs> here comes Branko now. He's been underground here for several hours. We're in a, a cave in Ontario. Um, he just got past a spot he called the Rock Guardian. He's now coming up to what he calls the jaw. Uh, he's a pretty extreme kind of caver. Um, Ricky's with him. So we're gonna video Branko squeezing through. He's not a small man, believe me, and he can just spit through some amazingly tight spots. Here he comes. He's come back from Iceland. He was doing lava tube caves in Iceland. Just he's taking us to a science getting through this area. Various turns and constrictions. Um, and now we're coming up to, to where he is at the jaw. Really is quite an, an amazing feat of caving these. He's down here. Well, we were already in that back gallery, yeah. so the sound doesn't travel, the light doesn't travel that far from here. No, I didn't see the light until about uh, probably 10 minutes ago. I started just seeing a faint shadow of light from you, mm -hmm. and I could hear you breathing and yeah. choking and huffing and splashing. Okay, yeah. what I will do, I will turn here, Okay. and I will go back on my bed and try to push myself out. Okay. So watch my feet because I have to yeah. stretch. Yeah, no problem. Look at that. Look at that size hole. Here it comes. The only way to do it is feet first. All those beautiful things we saw. He missed it, but Branko says this is between him and the cave. He needs to concentrate because of the tightness of the squeeze. So. Branko from another angle. I imagine he's breathing out at this point. That's Branko right there. Partway through the squeeze. Ricky through this very little squeeze. This is their, their alternate route going around where Branko is. There's Branko just waiting and taking a rest. 
Gonna give it another shot. Maybe if I go with my feet first. No, no, no. Go with his head first. And your back. Your back. Go to that side so that you can bend this way. It might work, Branko, but... Whichever, you know, you, you, I think you've, you've, done this way. you've done this way before, yeah. so you can do it again, yeah. you know that. So give me some here. Yeah, we, yep. yeah, we'll pull on your cuffs. You and take his one cuff, I'll pull the other. When I'm through, then you can pretend I am going out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what's your camera, your face? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. We're cool. Okay, miracle of cooperation. Branko, I think he's got his chest through. I'm starting to get a little worried for a minute, <laughs> I must admit. Ricky and I are pulling on the cuffs and Branko is squeezing beyond any form of squeezing that a reasonable human being should ever have to do. Any, any words? Thank you for the help. <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for showing us your wonderful discovery too, though I didn't make it in, but I know I just got to lose some weight, Branko. I do not want to, uh, yeah, I don't know how you manage it. It's worth going down there. 